For training and loading into hip internal rotation, I've got three things that we're gonna progress through. The first being a kickstand deadlift, the second being what I call a hinged step back, and the third being a single leg RDL. For all of these, I'm gonna be demonstrating on my right leg. So for the kickstand deadlift, you're gonna take a staggered stance with the leg you're trying to train in the front, hold a dumbbell or kettlebell on the opposite hand, and in the staggered stance, we're going to be trying to hinge into that front hip, and just using that back leg for balance and help us control the motion. Now what we can do to really make sure that we're getting into internal rotation is trying to keep this hip on the outside as low as possible, almost trying to drop into it and push this hip out wider. If you want to bias internal rotation even further, what we can do is slightly point the toes in, get into a staggered stance, and then hinge, pushing outwards into this hip. Again, I'm not trying to hinge straight backwards, I'm trying to almost hinge outwards to allow that hip to internally rotate. The next progression up from that is what I call the hinge step back. Again, kind of just made it up. I don't have a name for it, but it's gonna be a step between the single leg RDL and the, kick, and the kickstand deadlift. So we're gonna start here. We're gonna pick up our opposite foot. We're going to hinge, step back, try to get our knee behind our ankle in the front leg, catch ourselves with the back leg, and then flex the glute to come back up to the top. Similar thing, we're gonna almost be trying to hinge out into the hip rather than straight backwards. And that's gonna be a really good progression to help teach us the skill of a single leg deadlift or a single leg RDL. Now single leg RDL, the only difference is instead of catching yourself with the foot, you're gonna keep the foot elevated. We're gonna to try to drop the outside hip low and try to hinge outwards into this hip and then control our way back up to the top. And I guess one more bonus thing that we can do to influence hip internal rotation is if we're doing split squats, we can load in the bottom of the split squat, we can take our opposite hand of the front leg and pull this hip in to get a bit of an internal rotation stretch and then just try to pull into that direction every time we do a rep.